Yemen is the biggest humanitarian crisis in the world. And you can't even conceive of the numbers. 10 million people who could face famine. Bernie Sanders and I decided that we wanted to bring this war to an end. I was knocking on senators' doors saying, uh, can we have someone in the Senate take this up? And people said, no, you can't do this. And I was trying to explain myself to Senator Sanders, and a minute in, he cuts me off and he says, you're causing good trouble and uh, I'm all in. And that was a game changer. The truth is that our Constitution, uh, if obeyed, does not allow a president to get U.S. troops involved in wars like the war in Yemen. By the end of 2019, it will have taken the lives of some 219,000 people in Yemen. When we introduced our War Powers Resolution about two years ago, uh, people laughed at us. They said a War Powers Resolution has never passed in the House or the Senate in the history of this country since 1973. And Bernie Sanders and I worked and we introduced it two to three times. And each time we built support. And finally, we passed the War Powers Resolution for the first time in American history. The War Powers Resolution called on the United States to stop supporting the Saudi bombing of Yemen and bring this war to an end. Unfortunately, President Trump vetoed that resolution. That's why the groups across this country mobilized and they didn't give up the fight and neither did Bernie Sanders or I. We decided that we would introduce amendments in the National Defense Authorization. We couldn't supply them with parts. We couldn't give them logistical aid. We couldn't service the planes. In effect, these amendments would ground the Saudi force to a halt. They would not be able to bomb Yemen. Progressives will not support the National Defense Authorization Bill if we do not have this amendment that brings the war in Yemen to an end. We're gonna use every legislative tool that we have. We're gonna rally the American people and we are succeeding. I think more and more people understand how horrific the situation is uh, in Yemen. We're finally making progress. There will be no more unconstitutional wars if we mobilize in this way.